it's really cool to get to work with a group that listens and that you gel with and that they come assess your house and you're like, I want to hang out with those people later. <laughs> Anna had asked us a really good question of this, is this your forever home? Uh, and right now we're both young. We don't know for sure. We don't know. I, with this kitchen, I hope it is. Um, yeah. But not necessarily. Not necessarily. So, so we had to ask the question uh, and have that discussion of if we're yeah. going to resell, how do we make sure that Joe Schmo, whoever walks in from the market, doesn't look at this kitchen and think this was designed for two people with very different ability needs than myself? Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we really loved is we got to make a lot of these choices that support our needs very directly, but they don't look like they were designed for persons with disabilities. Right. Mm -hmm. So we got to have a lot of really cool discussion around what can we do to make the resale value of this uh, great for whoever comes next mm -hmm. uh, and still usable. Um, and so you were able to kind of talk us through and speak to those points of what we, those choices that we did make. Right. This was a, a cool wall, which is something I never thought I'd say. Uh, I yeah. mean, this was kind of a fun thing to think about because um, we learned we had a weird half wall going on there. Then we started talking through, all right, when you move around to cook, how do you move your wheelchair? Uh, which was incredible. I mean, we had like a 45 minute discussion on where a freaking drawer was going to go. Right. right. We changed it back and forth and also thinking about maybe I want to keep those things in a larger wider drawer mm -hmm. instead of in the smaller one. So and we had to push around the showroom and practice to what yeah. I could reach, what Chandler mm -hmm. could yes. reach, yeah, that's um, where we open the fridge. If the fridge is open and I've got to run and grab something out of the pantry or vice versa. Mm. We use the cereal analogy of yeah. if I'm making cereal, um, <laughs> how do I have to which, right. again, all I know how to do, I know how to fend for yeah. myself. Uh, how do I move around my kitchen to make yeah. this happen? If I'm right. going to grab the cereal out of one drawer and then push into the fridge, where's my wheelchair going to go? What am I likely to bump into? Mm -hmm. uh, where is this going to be more comfortable if it's placed? Um, so we went to that level of detail of how do you move? It's really cool to get to work with a group that listens and that you gel with and that they come assess your house and you're like, I want to hang out with those people later. <laughs> yes. Uh, just because Vice it's, versa. Uh, yeah. it's fun. I mean, it makes this process of something that's kind of daunting. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind right. of a scary thing to gut your house mm -hmm. and yeah. start over and have not a, a ton of vision of where you're going to go, but know you've got a really good team that's going to get you there mm -hmm. and that's going to listen every part of the way. Uh, you feel like the bad guy a lot mm -hmm. yeah. um, because you're essentially saying, no, take more time, spend more attention on me. But I've never felt that we've had that challenge. I've always felt heard and been valued. Thank you, Jill, <laughs> for sharing everything. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys.